the league that could have been. What's up, y'all? Today we're looking at the European Super League. This league was founded April 18th, 2021 in Europe. There were around 20 teams that were planned to be in it. And the motto of the league was actually the best clubs, the best players every week. Now, the league was actually designed to be a breakaway or even a rival to the UEFA Champions League, which is already Europe's top league. Now, while it seemed that this may have been a good idea at first, it drew criticism extremely quickly. Now, there were going to be a handful of teams from England, Spain, Italy. You know, you got your Liverpool Arsenal, Atletico Real, Man City United, Inter Milan, Milan. You get the idea, all the big clubs. Now, 15 of the 20 teams were actually going to be founding clubs. And those 15 would get permanent participation status, meaning that they could not be relegated from the league. The last five spots, other European teams could qualify based on the performance in their domestic leagues. So that means this is pretty much an all-star league every year. You know, top 15 teams staying in, no matter who that other five is, you know, you're going to see you know, your Man Cities, your AC Milan's, your Real Madrid's every week playing. Now, this almost reminds me as like a U.S. model like the MLS where there is no promotion or relegation. I guess that's exactly what they want so they can make as much money as possible. Which is why it drew immediate drawback from fans, players, politicians, even some club members. It was claimed that the league would be focused on elitism. And it also appeared that it would easily widen the gap between the top clubs in Europe and everybody else. After a couple of days the league was formed, many of the original founding members actually withdrew and eventually the Super League announced it was suspending operations. However, not all the teams formally withdrew and it's unclear because many of other leagues in Europe said there would be penalties if certain clubs did not withdraw. So I guess we'll see in the next couple of weeks what happened to these clubs that did not withdraw. But I'd love to hear your guys' opinions about this league. Do you think it's a good thing to see the top teams in Europe play week in, week out? Or do you think it's going to widen the gap between everybody else and it's not showing the other clubs a fair chance that they compete with the top teams? Let me know in the comments below. And I'm real interested to see what happens. I'll catch you guys in the next one.